In this video today, I wanted to talk about the Buccaneers offense because so far throughout the first month of the season, there have been some issues, let's say, with the Buccaneers offense as a whole. Now, one thing that I will say that has been pretty interesting and I feel a positive thing for the Bucs offense has been a little bit more of the running game. Leonard Fournette, he's obviously on a big deal. He's making a lot of money and he has had a healthy amount of carries through three weeks of the regular season. He got over 20 carries in the first two weeks against the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints, and he nearly hit that number again versus the Green Bay Packers. So that, I enjoy that. I like to see Leonard Fournette get more involved with the offense. He is one of the top playmakers on this offensive unit, so it is a positive thing, in my opinion, to see a little bit more of the running game. Of course, the bread and butter of this Buccaneers offense is still going to be the passing game, but it is still a nice thing to see that the Buccaneers are looking to use the run a little bit more. It helps grind down the clock. It helps some of the passing guys get a breather and rest overall, and all in all, it does use one of the guys that you are giving a decent amount of money to, so using Leonard Fournette, I feel, is a positive thing. But where there have been some issues has been the passing game and the red zone efficiency as well. I think, firstly, in the case of red zone efficiency, you know, that's got to improve point blank simple as that. This team has settled for field goals a lot throughout the first three weeks of the regular season, and it has been a very noticeable, very glaring issue for this Buccaneers offense. Why is that? I'm not sure. Maybe there could be a little bit more of a reliance on the tight ends in the red zone, maybe a little bit more of creative play calling in the red zone. I'm not necessarily sure what the fix to that could 100% be. That is something that does need to be figured out by the Buccaneers coaching staff. In my opinion, we could possibly see a little bit more of a reliance on guys like Cam Brate, maybe even Kyle Rudolph can be active for a couple of games here just to kind of test them out in the red zone, see how those guys do. You've got some big pass catchers there in the middle. Maybe you can start using them a little bit more in regards to your offensive play calling. But also the passing game as a whole has not been as efficient as it has been the past couple of seasons for the Bucs. Tom Brady, while he has been very, very good with passing around the football, he's been very efficient, I would say, completing a very high percentage of his passes. The yardage total and the touchdown total have not necessarily been there for the Bucs. And I will say, yes, Chris Godwin, he got injured in week number one. He is still dealing with some injuries. Similar things can be said for Julio Jones. And Mike Evans just got off of a suspension. He will be available throughout the remainder of the season as well. But... You know, definitely some guys have needed to step up in this offense that haven't 100% been able to do so yet. And that isn't to say that guys can't step up, but we've seen guys like Scotty Miller, Brashad Perriman, Russell Gage, Jalen Darden, who have had some opportunities and they haven't been able to step up yet. Now, can they still do that? Absolutely. Are guys going to get healthier? Yes, absolutely. But it has definitely raised a couple of questions in my mind as to what is going on with this passing offense. Why are they not able to do good? Is it just the idea of guys not being able to step up, or is it also possibly on play calling? I've seen a lot of people be critical of Byron Leftwich and his play calling throughout the first three weeks of the season. A lot of people have had some questions regarding certain situational play calling and whatnot. I've even seen some Buccaneers media people say, hey, what's going on with Byron Leftwich's play calling? This is a little bit different than what we've seen in seasons past. And I think I do agree with that notion. I think that it's obviously worth questioning and worth kind of keeping a closer eye on. is isn't to say anything, you know, 100% wrong with Byron Leftwich and to say, oh man, he's a terrible offensive coordinator, time to get him out of Tampa. No, nothing along those lines at all. Nothing close to that. But it has been kind of an interesting situation to follow right now. Byron Leftwich's, Byron Leftwich's uh, offensive play calling and kind of a lot of more shorter passing situations and... Yeah, it's just been a really kind of interesting thing to pay attention to regarding the running game, the pass calling, the lack of passing efficiency in terms of the receiving weapons, the lack of red zone efficiency. It's been an interesting thing to follow throughout the first month of the season. I think it's worth paying attention to moving out throughout the entirety of the remainder of the regular season. Can it improve? Absolutely. Will it improve? I believe so. But we're going to have to see some guys get healthy. We're going to have to see some guys step up even more so than they have already tried to throughout the first month of the regular season. And we may have to see some changes in the play calling as well for this Buccaneers offense to begin firing on all cylinders like they have done the past couple of seasons 
with Tom Brady at the helm. But what do you guys think? Do you feel worried about the Buccaneers' offensive play calling at this point, or just the offense in general? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. Myself, personally, I feel like things will improve overall with time, but it has been worth noting throughout the first couple of weeks of the season that, hey, things aren't necessarily as good as they have been in the past regarding this Buccaneers offense but there are still some positives regarding you know Leonard Fournette and his usage in the offense as well as some other guys trying to step up like Russell Gage and Brashad Perriman and the fact that guys are going to get healthier as well but let me know what your guys thoughts and opinions I would love to hear them thank you guys so much for watching this video hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go Bucks.